it's May coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the video and welcome to NTFS No Time for Sleep. Created by Obi Wan Can You Be. What a name. I love that name. That's amazing. Now, this park was created on the PlayStation 4. And as always, if you do enjoy this type of video, then please make sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you are new as well. Make sure to leave a comment down below as it does really, really help that algorithm monster and allow me to continue making these type of videos and pushing it out there. But I'm really excited to get into this park. Lots of different themes to have a look at. So without further ado, let's hop in and have a look around, shall we? Right, so here we are. We've just come out of the entrance tunnel. I really like this straight away. Look at this entrance building here. That's got a squibble on the top of it, as you do. NTFS squibble. Nice. I like that. What's going on here? Um... Okay, I want to know what's going on. Why are you not allowed that way? Why are the police barricading the way? What happened down there? Hmm. And who's he? Okay, I'm intrigued. I want to know what's going on. Ah, oh, let's have a look over here. So we have the Hall of Fame. So, Victor the Fox. Oh, that's a fox. Dude, that's a squirrel. In what world is that a fox? I'm saying that's a squirrel. Whatever, okay, fine, he's a fox. We'll go with it, it's a fox. So, Victor the Fox is a mascot from NTFS. He lives in Bulgus. He likes extreme medieval based. The NTFS park, No Time for Sleep, has three themed areas 75 out of 100 realism and extreme coasters. And in the future, NTFS 2. What kind of theme ideas, improved builds, and extreme coasters? Now, I do know that Obi Wan has already started work. On NTFS 2 because it's taken me ages to get around here. <gasps> Shout out to m &J Games and Iron Matty. Oh, thank you. Hang on. Hang on. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. There you go. Shout out to Iron Matty then, m &J Games. That's better. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Michael and Jasmine are some of my best friends in the community. So, yeah. But really nice sub shout outs there. Thank you ever so much. Um, inspiration is Fantasia Land, my aquarium. Okay. Wallaby Park. Not familiar with that one. And you like extreme. And then used builds. I really like this, how you've done a specific wall just giving credit to people's items that you've used. So NH99, you used his street lamps, Geki Squad, building scenery, TJ Puffs, water objects, Mike 17, the lobsters, and Clary Bread, the coral. Yeah, really nice how you've given um, shout-outs there to people in the community as well. So we come through the entrance. Not really decorated in here, so we're just going to skim through here. We didn't see a thing. And then we come down to Vic to the Squirrel. I mean, Fox. Squirrel, Fox. Fox, Squirrel. Right, so we have Lost China. So we have the Longfra. Stingray, Sholion River, Rolling River, the Pagadi. So said that wrong. And the Sky Temple. Oh, hang on, that's the. T right, that's the name of the things. Uh. And then we have the Lobster Rampage, which is the Infinite. And then Ollie's Ship, which is the Victory. And then we have Bulgas Bulgacity, which is Vector, and Bilgus Cascade. I swear people do these names on purpose just to trip me up. I'm sure they do it. They're building the park and they're thinking, I wonder if Matt is going to spotlight it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do the most obscure and random name I can think of just to see him butcher it when he does the spotlight. I, I get your game. But we have the Oswald Eugene Cantor in prison there. Very nice. And the Frontier. What did the Frontier owner do? Why is he in prison? That's just rude. <laughs> then we've got a chip shop just there. Got some water. I like how you've got the differing colours on the building. So we've got the yellow fries, we've got green for the water there, and then we've got a brown for the pip shot um, smoothies just over there. I really like that. And then we have this Victor the Squirrel just here as well. That is really cool how you've done him. I really like that. We've got a chair plane just as you come in. Right, now we'll do the Oriental Chinese themed area last because that is one of my favorite themes in the game is the china oriental so i'm going to leave that till the very end 
So we're going to come down to the uh, coral themed area. Look at this as you walk down here. That's amazing. What a sight line. Just down here. Really nice use of the foliage as well. We've got a giant water feature, so I'm happy. And these street lights. Now, I know that you gave shout out for an H99 for these street lights. Look at that. That is such a good build. How? 59 pieces just for that one street light. Are you kidding me? Oh, stupid camera. I hate the Planko camera at times. That is insane. I need to just take this apart a little bit. So what's this? So that's just an iron column. Let's get rid of that. Oh, it's the icing pieces. Like, used multiple times as well. That is fantastic. What a street light. I love that. There you go. We'll put it back. There you go. Let's hide the horrible hood. All right, let's carry on. So just some rock work down here. Maybe just try and uh, make sure that you're rotating some of these a little bit as they do look a little bit the same just as they're coming down here. But look at this shot just as you walk around here. That's amazing. So you got all the coral that was used by Clary Bread. It looks like uh, TJ Puff's SpongeBob SquarePants Park a little bit. The one that he did on the seabed. Oh, this coaster looks fantastic. Right, we need to go and get on this. Really nice theming all the way around here. Yeah, very impressive. Is this the entrance for the coaster? Ah, Lobster Rampage. It must be. So we've got all the bubbles. Right, let's have a walk up here. Nice long queue line as well. I wonder if that's maybe just a tad too long. You know, I'm, I, I may be tempted just to get rid of some of this queue line, especially given the fact that it ends there. If you were to get rid of all this queue path here, especially with it not being on a grid as well, look, none of that is on a grid, so it's winding all the way around. That's just taking up percentage. I would get rid of that and have that just connected there. And that might even give you a percentage back as well. And then you could go back to that entrance and maybe just finish theming that. Any little areas that you thought, oh, I ran out of percentage, you can just go back and just add to them places. Anywhere where you can build this path on a grid, I would recommend that you do that where possible. I like how interactive the queue line is with the coaster. So you can see the coaster just coming past at all times, just building that anticipation. The coaster comes right over the top of the station as well, look. Look at the little lobsters. Oh, they are so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, that is so cute. Right. And let's have a look at this then, shall we? So the lobster rampage screen across the board, very nice. G-forces are slightly high. You want to try and keep them under six where possible. But let's go for a ride on Lobster Rampage. Enjoy, everybody. Let's just ignore the stats for a second, because stats don't always matter in this game. You can have not green across the board, maybe some bad G-forces, and it can be amazing. You can have green across the board, G-force is really reasonable, but it requires a lot of smoothing from start to finish. For me, that ride was absolutely sensational. What 
a ride. I enjoyed that from start to finish. I'm not sure where the G-Forces are coming from, and I don't even care to look, because I think it was absolutely fantastic. I just thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it was really well themed from start to finish. I like the fact that it had some stall moments as well, like at the top of this hill here, just as it very almost stalls, but then carries on again as well. It did require maybe just a tad bit of smoothing, just in the odd one or two little places. Not loads, to be honest, maybe just in the odd one or two places. One place was uh, just as it left the station. I think this corner here just required just a tad bit of smoothing because it did just feel like it jolted around that corner. But as for the rest of the ride, absolutely amazing. I loved it. And do you know what? These little tiny lobsters. Now, I know that they are lobsters and I get that and that's 100% what they're supposed to be. But do you know what they remind me of? Worms. They actually look like worms. Like, come on, Cody. Like that kind of thing. Like, how can you? Like them. I used to love worms. What? Oh, somebody should do a worms ride. Oh my days! Right, somebody, can you please do a worms ride with little worms all the way around and like the cow and everything and the super sheep? Oh, I want to see it. I need to see a worms ride. That would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, somebody, please do it. I need to see it. My life will be complete. But anyway, let's come out to the exit and let's come around here i really like all the architecture all the way around here actually it's just really nicely done feels very much on the seabed as well so we have the shrimp rampage food and drinks up there or we have ollie's ship and the toilets just down here let's just have a quick look at ollie's ship which of course is the pirate ship oh you're gonna get absolutely soaked here so we have ollie hello ollie really like that just a walrus. Just there. That's not a walrus because he hasn't got the tusks. Must be a seal. Ollie the seal. Or something. I don't know. Do female walruses have tusks? I don't think they do. I don't know. I'm just waffling. I don't know. I'm so going to Google now when I come off. Do female walruses have tusks? Because it might just be a lady walrus. It might be. We will never know. Until I Google it. Anyway, stop waffling, Matty, and let's just carry on with the spotlight. I really like how the coaster just comes down here. Just as I'm looking at that bit, maybe just that bit there does require just a tad bit of smoothing as well. But, yeah, really nice. Look at the shot over here as well. Yeah, amazing. Right, so, there we go. There is the coral area done. Just the same as the other bit earlier on. Just try and make sure that you are rotating your rocks as well. Because it has given the same kind of texture all the way down here. So maybe just have them differing heights as well. I can see what it is that you've tried to do. But it maybe just doesn't quite work. So maybe raise them up a little bit. Rotate them around. I think it might look a little bit better. Well, let's come up here. And let's come down to the bulgus town so this is where the squirrel comes from as well just down here i really like all the sounds in this park I've done a really good job with all the music and all the sounds that you've got going on everywhere that you'd probably be able to hear if matty wasn't talking over it all maybe i should be quiet so you can listen to it oh, i forgot over here Oh, I like this little toilet block. Just, I really like that. Kind of like just hidden away just in the mountains there. It's really tactful and discreet. I really like that. That's really well done. you got the Cascade ride that's just right over next to us as well that you can watch. And then the other coaster as well. Back in here, but I can't see. Oh, hang on. There goes the Cascade ride. There is the fox stroke squirrel. Right, so shall we go to Bulgus or Bulgacity? Let's go to Bulgus first. So, what's down here? So just some more staff rooms. See, the same here as well. You don't need three staff rooms. Reduce that, reduce it to one. Don't need all them staff rooms. Or if you're in sandbox mode, don't have staff rooms. Don't need staff rooms if you're on sandbox mode. Just turn all the staff facilities off. And then they don't need to take breaks. And then you don't need to put any staff rooms down. There you go. Some more percentage back for you. Oh, let's come up here. 
love I love what you've done with the Q pass like kind of having the interactiveness with the rides as well I'm going to say the same here as well just bring the path straight over I'm seeing quite a few places where you can get percentage back in this park so I know that the percentage counter was one thing that you did have a problem with when you were when I was speaking to you the other day you said you'd hit the limit and you did still have things that you wanted to do let's just come up here and um, we have this cascade up here so a little bit of clipping just in the station some of the rocks coming through and the roof coming through as well maybe just just move them out just a little bit so they just to address that clipping issues or even just maybe just put a wall across that back just there so it's not there but anyway let's have a look at bulgus so not green across the board g-force is really nice though so let's go for a ride on this enjoy everybody So there we have Filgus. Yeah, another really good ride once again. I like the theming around it. It was really smooth from start to finish. Yeah, it was a really nice little coaster. I think it was fantastic. Good footprint as well. And can I just say, these buildings are absolutely fantastic as well. I love the architecture just up here. How it's almost built up on this mountain terrain. I think that's absolutely fantastic. A lot of detail gone into them as well yeah absolutely love that yeah really enjoyable and there's a waterfall so once again i'm happy yeah great job so right let's find the exit which is just here and let's come down there and then we've got one more ride left to go on in this area so that's the other ride i like the fact that you've got the triggered doors everywhere as well it's a nice little touch and we come straight down to the queue line for this one so let's have a look at this i can't quite remember that what this one was called it was some daft word i could barely say i know that much i do think your queue lines are a little bit too long i really do i think that's where a lot of your percentage is going on queue paths right so what was this one called again bulgacity that's the one Right, so, whoa, look at that. Almost 8 excitement. Very nice. And some really good G-forces as well. So, let's go for a ride on this one. Enjoy. That was probably my favourite ride of the park yet. I think that was, once again, absolutely fantastic. Maybe just the odd one or two little elements of smoothing, very much like the other two rides, but not a great amount. It was relatively smooth from start to finish. The only thing I would actually look at addressing is just the very end section. Now, for me, this end section here didn't quite work, I'm afraid. 
I would have not had this drop here, or at least maybe not quite so sharp, and I had that just as a break run, just as it comes down here, and then comes through this building here. It did feel just a little bit sharp how it came up through the doors, and then dropped quite drastically. I would have just had that just a little bit smoother coming down as a as a brake run and then coming through the building just a little bit slower and then maybe on some drive tyres just coming round into the station. But other than that, absolutely amazing, really well themed once again. I really like the theming of all the rides in the park. They feel very interactive with all the surroundings of the park and one thing that I say in spotlights is that I usually like to see rides on the outside of the park because they can be too domineering in the sightline when they're going all around the paths and over the top of the guests and everything. But you've actually struck a really good balance here of getting them over the paths but without being too in your face. So yeah, fantastic work, really nice implementation of the rides. Yeah. So, we have one final area left to go, which is the Oriental area, the China area, which I'm very much looking forward to. This is my favourite theming in the game. I love looking at these type of parks. So, Lost China. So let's come over the bridge. And look at that as well, just as you come across here. That is amazing. Fantastic. Right, and let's come up here, shall we? Like what you've done with the rock work and the foliage just around here, like kind of building up this wall here, rather than using actual walls or anything like that, just using the rocks and the bushes and the trees. Great effect. Yeah, I really like that. I think I would have liked to have seen more of that around the park, if I'm being honest. But then again, percentage. He did run out of percentage. Right, we'll copy it. Oh, look at this. That looks like a really, really good inversion as well. Are we going to be lucky and see the coaster come past? Whereabouts is It's just going up that lift hill now, look. Right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Right, come on, coaster. I want to see you come past. Right over to the side at the moment. Come on, I'm waiting patiently. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks fantastic. We've got the Sky Temple just here. And the queue goes all the way around the actual mechanism that lifts it as well. I've got no idea what that would be called, what the technical term would be. I haven't got a clue. The lifty thing. That'll do. Once again, just with a keeper. Even if you were to put that on a grid, rather than having it just uh, freehand, that would save so much percentage. I think by going around putting some of your path on a grid, maybe deleting some of the queue paths that aren't necessary, I think you can get probably about 3 or 4% back in this park at least. At least. So beautiful around here. So beautiful. Right, so I've just got some shops just in here. Really nice centerpiece building as well. Right, and let's try and find the... Ah! I was going to say let's try and find the entrance. Here we go. That was a little bit hidden. Not going to lie. Let's come down here. Nice theming. Just simple theming around the queue line. It's nothing too excessive, but it works. Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought it was in there. I'm like, what's going on here? There you go. I've got it. I'm okay, guys. I've got it. I've got it. Don't worry. Right, so long fra. So green across the board. Very high G-forces, but as with the first ride, let's go on it. Let's see how we get on. So final ride of the park. Enjoy, everybody.
So, of all the rides in the park that we've been on so far, I believe that one probably did require the most smoothing, I'm afraid. It goes into some of the ambitions a little bit too quickly as well, which is where some of them G-forces are coming from. But if we look at it from a non-realism point of view, and we're looking at it from a game aesthetic point of view, and what is it like as a player going on it, then it's fantastic. I love how it goes around all the buildings, just this whole surrounding area. It seems to interact with everything. It's going through the buildings, under the ground. It's just absolutely fantastic. Very much like with all the other rides in the park. Just really well done. But yeah, if you are trying to go for realism, then it just does require a bit of smoothing, a bit of slowing down. Like just here, I think it goes up into that loop right there. That's going to be where some of your G-forces are coming from. Because it just goes up into that inversion way too quickly. So, But yeah, right. So we have a River Rapids left. And then we are all done. So, so let's have a walk down to that. I love all the waterfalls that you've got everywhere. There's so much water in this park. Down here. Just once again, unfortunately, just the queue line is too long. I do genuinely believe that you could probably save yourself 3, 4, maybe even 5% just by addressing some of the pathing issues. And that would allow you to do a little bit more decorating. Just in here, you'd be able to do a little bit more theming and everything as well. In fact, a little tiny part of me wonders, is the River Rapids worth it? I'd even maybe be tempted to take the River Rapids out. And that way that you could then theme the rest of the park. Because there's, there's areas of the park like the stations and things like that. Like the entrance building that aren't really themed. And this... That doesn't really add anything to it. Because there's no real big drops. You've got this little drop here. But that's it. It's more of a scenic ride, the rest of the rapids. So it isn't really adding anything to the park. So I would be tempted maybe to get rid of that. And that's going to be a good 2 or 3% as well that would allow you to do the stations and things like that and touch up any areas where you felt yourself that it wasn't really themed. But anyway, let's come out of here. And I believe that is the park done guys so if we just have a look up here we've just got a few more boon drinks just some more toilets up here as well and that was the entrance for the ride there we've got a staff room just up there and then just over here you've just got this little tiny seating area which gives a beautiful shot as well just as you sit there that's fantastic really nice sight lines and viewpoints of the park but right anyway we need to have a look at this park at night so let's just very quickly zoom out and let's just swap it to night quickly so there's not masses of lights going on around the park once again i understand percentage counter and running out and all that i maybe would have just liked to have seen it a little bit more colorful especially around the coral area if you look at Clary Bread's Fantasy Falls, for example, how she's got all that coloured with all the pinks and oranges and blues and greens and pinks, just all around the coral area, it really added to it. And I think something similar around this area would have really added as well. Maybe just more ambience around here as well. Yeah, I think with addressing the queue lines and maybe getting rid of the river rapids you'd be able to come back and really address a lot of the issues with this park but it's a fantastic park the coasters are sensational i really really enjoyed them and i'm super excited to see what you offer with no time for sleep part two as well which i'm looking forward to spotlight once you have finished that but yeah great job really nice coasters nice themed yeah enjoyed it let me know down below in the comments what you think as well. Did you enjoy this fox or squirrel themed park? Let me know.
But I'll be back in a couple of days for another Planet Coaster Spotlight. Let me know if you would like a park spotlight done of yours as well. The Discord link will be down below where you can put a request in. But thank you ever so much for watching everybody. Take care, stay safe, look after yourselves and I'll be back in a couple of days. Bye everybody!